Hi everybody, my name is Nicholas, I'm with the Woodlands Nature Station, and welcome to our Girl Scout Day extravaganza. This is step three for juniors. We are going to be making our own rain stick craft. Now, this is mine that I made earlier. You can hear it sounds a little bit like a downpour of rain. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own. Now, here are the kinds of things that you are going to need to do this. Uh, you're going to need some kind of cardboard tube. In this case, I used our paper towel tubes. That's something most people have available. Uh, if you don't have paper towels, though, you can also use the tube out of a roll of tin foil or maybe a roll of saran wrap. Any of those kinds of things will also work. Um, you'll also need some other bits of cardboard. So in this case, I just used the remnants of a protein bar box. Uh, but really any kind of cardboard or construction paper or cardstock, any of that kind of stuff will work. Uh, I've also got pipe cleaners. Now if you don't have any kind of pipe cleaner, you could use any kind of crafting wire or maybe even parts of a coat hanger. Uh, you could also even just take a brown paper back or some of that same construction paper and just kind of wad it up and make a coil out of it. You could just as easily do that with those stuff if you don't have something like pipe cleaners. Now with your cardboard or construction paper uh, you're gonna want to take it and fold it into these kinds of accordions and if you're using some kind of crafting wire or if you're using things like uh, tin foil or paper you're gonna want to make a little coil out of it and the idea is is these are different things that your your rain can kinda hit while it's sliding down the tube and that kinda makes a little bit of that rain sound as we go so you'll need these to kind of make the whole thing work. But there's a bunch of different ways to make that stuff. You'll also need some rubber bands or maybe bits of string. And so I've actually got both here because I like to use the rubber band to kind of secure everything. And then I like to use the yarn to make it look pretty. And then last but not least, you'll need some kind of tape or paper. And this is used to seal up the ends of your tube. Uh, if you're using something like paper, you'll want some really strong rubber bands to help hold it on. Uh, in this case, I'm just using a bit of packing tape. And then last, but certainly not least, you're going to need your rain. Uh, here I've got bits of dried corn. You can also use popcorn kernels. You could use rice. You could use dried beans. There's a ton of different things you could use to, to fill your rain your rain stick with. In this case I happen to have some dried corn on hand. This is the same stuff we feed our deer so it works out really well. Now as you can see I've kind of taken my rain stick and I've added my own personal flair to it. I've, I've drawn on it, I've added some color. Uh, I've already done that with a second tube so I can show you exactly how to get from here to here. So we're going to do that with this second one that I've kind of started. As, as I said, I kind of added my own flair to it using our colored markers. I encourage you guys to get as crazy with this as you like. Add as many different colors as you want. Again, you can also add some colors later using bits of yarn, or if you've got different colored construction paper, that kind of stuff will help too. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to seal off one end of your tube here. That way you can start filling it with things. Now the way I did this was with our packing tape. Again, you can use some kind of construction paper. You could use different colored duct tape. That would be a great way to uh, add in a, a little bit of flair there. And what I did is I took a, a decent sized piece, a couple inches long, and I took two pieces of that length, or thereabouts. You don't have to be exact. It's not about perfection. And what I did is I made a little X or a little cross. Use... That's our barred owl. Apparently she likes what I'm doing. Make a little cross, make a little X out of your tape, and then just stick it right over the end here. And kind of fold it down so that it sticks into place. If you're using, say, like parts of a brown paper bag, or if you're using uh, some kind of construction paper, you'll want to have your, paper, your, your rubber bands at the ready, because as soon as you get that tape on there, or your paper, whatever you're going to use to seal off the end, you're going to want to make sure that it's strong enough to hold in your rain. There we go. 
So I've got the end of it sealed, but I want it to look a little bit prettier. I want to I want to add my own personal flair to it. So I'm going to take a little bit of our yarn here. Go ahead and add that to it. Adds a little bit more uh, strength to it, but it also makes it a little more unique, a little bit more mine. There we go. So from here, now that we've sealed off one end, we're going to start filling it. We're going to start putting stuff in it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use a few of my little cardboard accordions here. And remember, you don't want it jam-packed. You don't want it crammed full. Because if it's crammed full, then there won't be enough room for your corn or your beans or your rice to, to trickle down while you're doing it. So I'm going to put a few of them in here. I'm also going to add in one of my pipe cleaner coils. Again, you could use uh, tin foil. You could use coiled up paper. There's a ton of things you could use. Mine's about ready. Mine's about full. You can see it kind of poking out the top there. Now, the most important ingredient, your rain. So I'm going to put just a handful of corn in here at first. Carefully add it in there. Trying really hard not to make a mess. Ooh, I like the way that sounds already. Now that I've added in a handful, I'm going to test it. I want to see how it sounds. I want to see if it sounds the way I want it to sound. I'm going to use my hand to seal off one end. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. Got to shake it up a little bit, make sure all the corn falls. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to add one more handful. That's my, that's my personal choice. You can decide for yourself how many it takes for yours. Oop. There I go, making a mess again. Try to clean up my mess right quick. All right. Let's see how it sounds now. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I encourage you to experiment if you have the stuff at home with different kinds of rain. Maybe you like the sound that rice makes better than the sound that uh, popcorn kernels make. Maybe you don't. If you have the availability to try a few different things, I recommend trying a few just to see which one you like the sound of best. But I like this. I like where I've gone with this. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to my open side that I did down here. I'm going to use my tape. I'm going to make another little cross mark. There we go. I'm going to seal it up. Okay. Got it kind of sealed. Use my rubber band to add some strength. Hold in all that rain and cardboard. Wah! If I can get my rubber band on there. Aha! There we go. And just like on the other side, I'm going to add a little bit of yarn just to add some more flair and color and personality to it. There we go. And that is how you make your very own rain stick. So again, thank you guys for coming out to the Woodlands Nature Station and joining us for our Girl Scout Day. Uh, I, go, I hope you guys have a wonderful time making your very own rain sticks.